I have always loved all kinds of animals from as early as I can remember. I have two cats, two tortoises out in the backyard, some horses, and a chicken, some snakes. I was given Mudskipper when she was one week old, and she was extremely shy. She has her own sweet personality. I mean, every capybara is different. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. They look a lot like a guinea pig. But one of the big differences is guinea pigs are cute and cuddly and soft. Capybaras are not soft. It feels like petting a broom. And the older they get, the coarser it is. They have very large, sharp teeth. Capybaras can be reasonably destructive to furniture. Depends on the individual one. But Mudskipper, she's a major chewer. <laughs> she's pretty destructive. <laughs> Buddy, look at you. Capybaras make good pets for the right people. Most people are not the right people. Capybaras need water. They're semi-aquatic. They do a lot of swimming. They graze. And so you should have sufficient area for them to graze. And they're large animals, so that's quite a bit. Don't bite the tortoise. Generally, they're very docile. They're very affectionate. They're great animals, but they still have all their wild instincts. Jump. Good girl. Good girl. That's my girl. They have a lot of unique personality traits that vary from one capybara to another. In a way, I think they're more different than individual dogs or individual cats. There you go. Our relationship is one that is both very close, but not completely trusting on her side. I don't know why. I mean, she just has never gotten over that. It's just a basic component of her personality. She's scared. She's scared of everything. Yeah. But she loves me. That's my little